Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Now I'm sitting in the New Holland T7 315 from Carl F. Stotts and Sons in Wanaki, and I'm running Green Card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to you guys through a little bit about how to use the IntelliView monitors to customize your hydraulics in your tractor. So there's two SCVs or remote valves on the grain cart that I'm using with this tractor. So the way I have them set up is I have them set up to do two just any random valves. I think it's on four and five. But I'm gonna run you guys through how to move the controls from down here up to the transmission control and to use the hydraulic controls up by your thumb. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set it to be up here. So that way when like I'm driving up to Travis because I'm dumping in him and he's taking the wagon loads up to the main farm is as I'm coming up on him, what I wanna do is I just wanna be able to press a button on this transmission control to make the auger on the grain cart go up and make it come down when I'm done just by the press of a button rather than having to hold it in. So right now, I think it's set up for the triple mower that was on here, but I'm gonna run you guys through how to set it up for this beast. So we're looking at the IntelliView monitor on the console, and I'm gonna go to remote valves. So here, we're in the editor. This is all five hydraulic controls. It shows you plenty of information. Um, I'm gonna go back to where I was, the editor. And the quad switch, it's called, is set for one and four. So number four is set for the the gate, the flow gate in the grain cart. So I'm gonna leave that one as is. So when I press this side to side, I can use that to control the gate, which is nice because I can be making small adjustments with the tractor and then the transmission by moving back and forth to fill up the wagon as full as I can get it. And this way I don't have to take my hand off to bring it back down here to move the SCV controls. So um, I'm gonna switch the top one to number five. And number five is what the auger is set on. So when I press down on this quad switch, the auger should go up. And you can see there that it is. So what I did was I, I timed how long it took for the auger to extend and retract. And to extend, it took about 24 seconds, 26 seconds. And to retract, it took about 19. So I can go in here. I'm sorry if this is a little hard to see. The sun kind of fades it out for video. But we're going to go to rear timer. Here we have four and five. Now, number, I gotta go back and check. Um, number five is the one that we're gonna be editing. Okay. So I can go to rear timer. Now to retract, or to extend, the arm, I want to set this for about 28 seconds. And to retract, I want to set it for about 21. I want to set it about two seconds over what I need. So that way all I have to do is press the button and it'll go up for that length of time plus two seconds to make sure that everything is locked in place. So the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is to press the clock button, which is the timer. All right. Can't enable the timer that's set for zero. All right, so now that timer's set. So all I have to do is press down on this. The timer will start ticking down. The arm will go up for the length of time required. It's got about 10 seconds left on it. So we've got about three seconds to spare. And then it resets back to 28. So now I've just simplified everything and I've used this before, just the last few loads. 
and it works really well. Um, I don't, I mean, you literally do not have to take your hand off of the transmission control. Uh, to, let's say I am, go, I pull up to him, I, I extend it by just pressing the button, and then I start the PTO, it'll start dumping in, and then all I have to do is control the gate with the side to side buttons on the quad switch. And that makes things so easy. Um, it kind of makes everything smoother. Um, when I'm doing this with the 82, I can set up the detent time as well. But with this, I don't have to take my hand off of the shifter and I don't have to rely so heavily on the clutch, um, which is what the CBT is really nice for. Um, we would be using it on the wagon, which for road travel, it would be really nice. However, we don't feel that uh, they would appreciate us putting that much road time on a tractor that isn't ours. So um, that's about it for the hydraulic controls. If you want to set it up for something like the grain cart, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it interesting and um, be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. So I'll see you next time, guys. All right, I'm about to start loading out. How to extend the auger, one button push. It'll start extending. Awesome. Now, all I have to do is engage the PTO. And now I can control the flow gate with my thumb. Pretty darn easy. Perfect. Sweet.